Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joni, and today we're going to have some more stories from Reddit. But before we start it would be so much appreciated if you would subscribe to my channel, like the video, if you enjoy it, and maybe leave a comment down below. These simple clicks would mean a lot to the future of this channel and really reward the effort that I put in every day. And now without further let's go. Now let's get into today's stories to find out what happened. I've 32 male been with my wife 31 female for a total of 11 years, but we have been married for 8. We met in college and we started dating about halfway through. We moved in together after graduation, and we went through all of the ups and downs of our postgraduate life together. She made everything more tolerable for me when we were going through the bad times. As soon as we both had good jobs and stable incomes, I proposed. I knew that I wanted to marry her and be with her for the rest of my life. She said yes, and shortly after we got married and started building happy life together. We have one child together, and we bought our first house in the suburbs. It was the kind of life we had always dreamed of having. My wife and I were both very dedicated and diligent workers, so over the years we have been given several promotions and opportunities with our respective employers. About a year ago, my wife had gotten a big promotion at work, which gave her her very own office and assistant. I went to all of the office parties and gatherings with her. It was a pretty close-knit environment with all of the employees. Over the years, we've lost contact with most of our friends from college, but we have a pretty nice friend group with our co-workers. One day, out of the blue, I got a text message from one of her co-workers who I was good friends with, telling me that my wife might have been behaving inappropriately with an intern. I was shocked to hear the news, and I didn't believe it right away. When she got home, I showed her the message and I asked her about it. She told me that she had no idea what her co-worker was talking about, but she was going to talk to him first thing in the morning to clear it up. The last thing she wanted was a sexual harassment case or anything of the sort when it wasn't true. She was pretty upset about the message, so it was difficult to tell if she was being honest or not. I was inclined to believe her because she had never given me any reason to doubt her throughout the entirety of our relationship. When she got home, I showed her the message and I told her that I didn't believe her. At home the following day, she told me that she had a conversation with a co-worker and he explained what happened. He thought he saw them in a compromising position through her window, but she told him that what he saw was them sitting close while she helped show him something on the computer. The intern even confirmed that was the case and assured the co-worker that nothing was going on. I felt relieved that it seemed to have been over. I didn't think that my wife was cheating on me, but it was good to know that she had resolved that issue with her co-worker. Several weeks later my office gave all of the employees a four-day weekend because they had to renovate some parts of the building. I had that Monday off and figured it would be nice to surprise my wife with a nice lunch at work. I stopped by her favorite restaurant, grabbed her usual order, and went to her office. I ran into a few of her co-workers and we caught up for a couple of minutes before I made my way to my wife. I had stopped by her office many times before, and normally I would knock a couple of times and then peek inside. When I went to do that this time, the door was locked. I figured she was in a meeting of some kind, and didn't want to be interrupted by anyone. But I heard some shuffling on the other side of the door, and my wife said to give her just a minute. I waited for her to open it, and when she did I saw that there was a young man behind her desk with a chair next to hers. My wife brought me in and introduced me to her in turn. I noticed immediately that his cheeks were kind of flushed, and he had his hands resting on his groin. After what her co-worker accused her of, I wouldn't think she would be so close to her in turn with the door locked like that. I definitely had some red flags waving at the time. I told my wife that I brought her lunch, and she thanked me, dismissing her in turn for an early lunch. I asked her why the door was locked, and she said that she hadn't realized it was. She said she must have bumped it. It was just one of those push-button locks, so it kind of made sense. The intern hurried out of the office, and I had lunch with my wife. I got home and just couldn't shake the feeling that I had interrupted something. The way the intern looked was pretty suspicious, and given what her co-worker told me, I think it was reasonable to question what I saw. 
Later that night, she called me and told me that she had a last-minute Zoom meeting with some overseas clients and would be coming home late. That was a very rare thing to happen to her. She was a very busy woman at work, and last-minute things just didn't happen. I was even more suspicious about what was going on. I thought about what I wanted to do for a bit, and eventually, I reached out to the co-worker who told me about the intern. When I called him and asked him specifically what he saw, he implied that he thought he saw my wife performing oral on the intern. At least, she was in the position to be doing so. I asked him if there really was a last-minute meeting. And he told me that he didn't think there was. I think with the questions I was asking, he was able to figure out that I thought there was something going on between her and the intern that night. An important thing to know about this guy, he was next in line for the promotion that my wife got. I was aware that things he said could only be taken with a grain of salt because his motives might not have been the best, but if what he was saying was true, I needed to figure it out. He offered to meet me at the office so he could let me in since he had clearances to go. I agreed and we met there about 15 minutes later. He brought me up to their offices where we could hear that somebody was still there and having very loud intimate. Without even seeing who it was, I knew that it was my wife. I heard those noises before. Still, we walked toward them so we could catch them in the act. I found my wife on her desk with the intern. When I opened the door, they jumped apart from each other and tried to cover themselves. My wife stammered trying to find the words to explain what was going on, but she couldn't. I regretted not getting any documented evidence of it, but thankfully I had another witness there with me, so hopefully they could testify in the divorce proceedings that my wife was in fact cheating on me. I stormed out of the office and went home, locking myself in the bedroom so my wife couldn't get in. The following day, I reached out to the co-worker that I had gone to the office with and he told me that he was reporting it to HR. Later that day, I overheard my wife get a call and it was clear that she was terminated. She was very upset by whatever happened on the phone call. The intern was let go from the office as well. I asked the guy what that would mean for him and he told me that likely he would not get credit for whatever class. He was doing the internship for and would most likely have to retake it. It wasn't the worst punishment for him, but at the same time, I do feel like my wife was in a position of power with him, which seemed like she could have taken advantage of it. I did end up divorcing my wife and with the testimony of the other person who was with me when we discovered her cheating, I did not have to give her anything in the divorce. She lost her job and her husband, house, and won't get to see her child much anymore due to split custody. All for some meaningless fling with her intern. Now let's get into the second story. I 29 male met my girlfriend 26 female 3 years ago at a cafe. I thought she was cute, so I got her number, and we went out later that week. We had an awesome time, and from there our relationship flourished. It wasn't long before she and I were official, and she moved in with me. We were very in love, and we moved very quickly with everything. She was someone that I thought I was going to propose to at one point. Neither of us had the best jobs in the world. We would constantly complain about how we were being walked all over by our employers, and that we worked with incompetent co-workers. We both wanted out of those jobs, but the job market being like it is was pretty scary. I've always enjoyed drawing and making art. Unfortunately, my parents wouldn't pay for me to go to art school, so it was only a hobby that I could never turn into a career. My girlfriend was really supportive about it when she saw my work. About a year into our relationship, she saw a video online about things people can do as side hustles. One of the big ones was for dropshipping t-shirts and things like that. She told me about it and it seemed like an interesting idea, though I didn't know how feasible it would be since there were probably hundreds of shops online already. She did a lot of research, and eventually she convinced me to give it a try. It cost us virtually nothing to get started, so there wasn't much risk involved. I put my own personal art projects to the side for a little while, and I made some designs based on pop culture and fandom stuff to put on prints and t-shirts. It took a few weeks for us to really start getting any traction, but after our first couple of orders and some positive reviews, we started to build a pretty solid foundation for a business. At about six months of being open, 
We started to make a pretty good amount of money from it. We thought that it might even be possible to do that full-time in the future. The only thing we were really handling was the marketing and designs, the printers were doing everything else. So, our business was thriving, and I thought we were too. My girlfriend was managing everything and giving me different things I should be making designs for so we could keep adding new inventory. I was kind of frustrated because I was really doing all of the work. All she was doing was doing some brief research on things that were popular and leaving everything else to me. We weren't married, so all of the income wasn't shared. We were splitting it 50 to 50 and I didn't think that was fair. I confronted her about that one day and she got really mad at me for suggesting we alter the payments. I explained my side to her and she ended up storming out of the house to spend the night with her friend. She hadn't been answering any of my phone calls so I called the friend that I assumed she was with and she told me she wasn't there. I was a little confused but I rationalized it as thinking that her friend was lying on her behalf. I kind of just assumed that she didn't want to talk to me at the time. I sent a bunch of text messages apologizing and asking her to come home so we could continue talking about it together. Her running away at the first sight of conflict between us was already a pretty big red flag for me. She never responded to the messages but she came home the following evening. When I asked her about where she was she told me that she was with the friend that I had called. Again I thought that she told her friend to lie about her whereabouts. I didn't disbelieve her when she told me that. We sat down and had a conversation about everything, and we agreed that I would get 10% more of the funds that I was currently getting. Still, I wasn't happy with that compromise, but I didn't want to argue about it if it meant possibly losing her. A few weeks went by after that argument and things started to seem off with her. I would come home and she wouldn't be there. Whenever we would have time together, she would be more focused on her phone than me. It seemed like she was disinterested in being with me altogether. I felt pretty self-conscious about everything after that. I kind of rationalized it in my head as she didn't like me anymore and it hurt. At the same time, the business started doing very well. We were getting dozens of orders every day, and we were raking in the money. We both ended up quitting our jobs to focus on that since we didn't need our crappy day jobs anymore. Everything would have been perfect in my life had it not been for how my girlfriend was acting. I hadn't been noticing her behavior was different before we both quit our jobs, but after it was apparent there was something going on. One of the big reasons I could tell was because my girlfriend was out of the apartment a lot. She didn't have a job to go to so I wasn't sure exactly where she was going. I would expect her to tell me if she was going out just to meet a friend. She would come back a couple of hours later and tell me that she just went for a walk. That wasn't an impossible answer, but she had never really been the type of person to just go take leisurely strolls. I was getting really suspicious that she might have had something going on on the side. We had a ring doorbell set up, so I normally get notifications when she would go in and out. I didn't always get them because my phone was usually on silent, so after I started suspecting something I made sure to leave the volume on. One afternoon while I was in my office working on a design, I heard it go off. I quickly checked and it was her leaving. I threw my shoes on and I followed her to see where she was going. I walked behind her for about 15 minutes when she approached a house. It wasn't one that I had ever been to with her. We introduced each other to all of our friends and family already, so I thought I would have recognized the house if she was visiting a friend. A man opened the door and he kissed her before picking her up and bringing her inside. Putting the pieces together about what was going on didn't take long. Obviously, she was sleeping with that man. It made sense in hindsight. She was with him, so she didn't need to sleep with me anymore. I was completely heartbroken as I walked home. I had my suspicions by hope that I was wrong. It was the last thing that I wanted to find out. I truly loved my girlfriend and I planned on marrying her in the future. When I got home, I sat at the kitchen table for about half an hour thinking about what I should do. I considered confronting her when she eventually came in and telling her that I knew about the man she was with. The more I thought about it, the more I wanted to know who he was and how long it had been going on. I grabbed her laptop and logged in to try and find some more information. When I checked her emails, I found some correspondence between both of them. 
From what I could gather, they met at a local business ownership and entrepreneur organization. I remembered my girlfriend telling me she was going to a meeting to try and pick up some tips on how to properly run a business. It made sense that they met there. That was shortly after we started our business together. Their messages were friendly at first and there wasn't anything alarming about them. But then the man confessed that he only got her information because he thought she was attractive. My girlfriend joked back and said that she only gated to him because she thought the same. They started flirting and bantering back and forth. Then my girlfriend confessed to him that she was in a relationship. The man said that he didn't care. He liked her and he could tell that she liked him as well. He promised her that he could keep a secret. They made a plan to meet up after that and from there all of the messages were very sexual. They were obviously getting together for intimate quite frequently. My girlfriend would tell him that she wanted to stop by his house after work and after quitting her job that wasn't feasible. So that's when the long walk started. I had no intention of trying to salvage my relationship with her. I wanted everything to be over. Before my girlfriend got home from her walk, I packed a few bags and I went to stay with a friend of mine to avoid her. I told them about what was going on and about how complicated it was because we were running a business together. My friend then asked me a bunch of questions about the paperwork that had been signed and things like that to see if there were any grounds for me to kick her out of the business accounts. I told him that we never signed papers. Everything was a verbal agreement between us of the work. He thought that it would be within my right to either change all the passwords on the business accounts or pull all of my designs and start a brand new account with them. I slept on that idea overnight to think of which option would be better because I was for sure not going to let my girlfriend cheat on me and then benefit from my work. I also started to think of ways that I could ruin the man she was sleeping with. He knew that she was in a relationship and he pursued her anyway. That was just disgusting. From their messages, I knew that he owned and operated a small shop in the center of town. We lived in a pretty small town and it was very religious. The kind of town where everybody was in church on Sunday and if you weren't people would be knocking on your door to make sure you're okay. Adultery would be very frowned upon in this community. I printed out some of the email exchanges between them, specifically ones where he mentioned not caring that my girlfriend was in a relationship. I went to his store and plastered the images all over the outside. I ended up changing all of the passwords on the business account so my girlfriend couldn't get in. I removed all of her banking information from the accounts as well. Before she noticed anything was going on, she texted me and asked me why I changed the passwords. I didn't respond right away, but then she kept calling me and messaging me telling me that she needed to get into the accounts. It was Friday after all and I knew she was going to pay herself. My friend helped me draft an email to send to her where I explained how I knew everything and that I didn't want to be in business with somebody who proved themselves to be untrustworthy and a liar. Because all of the money we were making was based on my designs, I was pulling them and going to start my own business. I changed the password so she wouldn't have access to anything while I was doing that. She tried calling me and explaining that I misunderstood what was happening, but I just told her I found the emails and I knew she was lying. I told her that she needed to get out of my house because she wasn't on any sort of lease living there. If she wasn't out within three days, I planned on having the police escort her off the premises. When I went back home after three days, I saw that she trashed my office. She knocked over my computer and she ripped a couple of my paintings. If she thought I wasn't going to sue her over that, she was sorely mistaken. I ended up winning our case and she was forced to pay me for the damages out of the little money she still had in her account before I'd essentially cut her off. As for the man she was sleeping with, his business was definitely hurt when the people of the community found out what he had done. The good Christians of our community didn't want to support someone who knowingly got involved with someone in a relationship. My girlfriend ended up staying with him for a few weeks after she left my house. I guess they tried to continue a relationship together, but he ended up cheating on her with one of his employees. Boys. So that didn't last very long. I actually found out about that because she called me and told me, begging for me to give her a second chance. I told her that there was no way in hell that I would allow that to happen and hung up on her. I have no idea what she's up to now.